All right, judges. Sorry, I was like, you're ready. Yep. And Brian and Daryl, when you guys are ready, kick us off today. All right. Thank you very much. First, I'd like to say good afternoon to the judges and to everyone attending this uh, 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 meeting. And I'm very uh, honored to be here to present our company. Thank you very much. So, As we go through this quarantine, it is evident that the youth have not been taking it well. One in five teens suffer from mental health challenges. That is, anxiety disorders such as panic disorders and social phobia were the most common conditions. 31.9% of teens had such disorder, followed by behavior disorders, including attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD, in which 19.1% of teens were suffering from that condition. And there's a lot more. These kids are having trouble maintaining their sleep schedule or have lost interest in activities they used to enjoy in some cases. They even withdrew themselves from friends and family. If you or your teen are having the similar problems, then it's possible you could have depression or anxiety. 20% of teens will endure teen depression before they become adults. However, everyone at some moment in their life will experience depression. This is why we have created True Help. It is an app that specializes in diagnosing mental disorders. We do this by asking the user a series of questions that determine what disorder is affecting them. After they finish the test, we will give them a list of possible disorders as well as websites or people to look at to help them with dealing with these disorders. Now, share my new screen. All right, so good morning, judges. Good evening, judges. Um, first, I would like to show you a quick statistic 4.4 million in numbers. That is the number of kids and teens just in America alone that, have, that are facing anxiety. That is just one disorder out of many mental disorders. That's just one statistic 4.4 million. Good evening, judges, who we are. We are True Help. True Help is an online therapeutic app made for the sole purpose of providing counsel and the help for teens facing mental disorders, which me and Daryl find. The facts, uh, teens, one in five teens suffer with mental health challenges, which is a pretty big thing by more than 75% of teens do not seek help even with even with the help they needed, they will still be uh, silent about it, which we will help solve. 19.1% of teens suffer from attention deficit disorder. And that is again, just one disorder out of many disorders that teens are facing in Enrico County. And let's not even talk about worldwide. Many of those teens try to seek help, but they have no access to that help. Some of them, that, some of them have, have tried speaking to friends, some of them have tried speaking to your parents, but sometimes, sometimes they don't listen. Sometimes they have no way to express their um, deep uh, and, uh, secrets, which are haunt haunting their souls inside down. And this is why our company, which is True Help, helps teens with mental disorders, including ADHD, depression, anxiety, behavioral disorders, bipolar disorders, substance abuse, psychosis, and much more. Because this is those are those are just an example of disorders that are facing teens, most specifically from age three to 17. So from those, those, those ages, especially 17 in high school levels, that's when teens are mostly introduced to these types of behaviors and, and, um, and, and face these types of disorders mentally. Now. The benefits as teens with mental challenge will be improved with the help we provide and the counsel that we provide with uh, our system. As the money we raise will be funded to the business to help expand others throughout Virginia, as we will start locally in Henrico as first. And then as much more help we do, we will expand into worldwide, even, even anywhere that needed help that does not have that type of help that teens needed. Now the solution that we True Help have found for example, first, I would like to explain first how our business will work. So first, our business is an online therapeutic app. So therefore, 
they will be they will give a few uh, series of questions which will help students or teens or the, the, the recipients that are actually facing the trouble um, fix their problems. For example, at the end, the solutions which we will provide would be either in person or not in person. In person um, help or solutions that we have found include group therapy or retreats, for example. Non in person solution that we have provided is video tutorials or talking to, for example, two other pals that had the same issue that were facing the same problems, but that overcame that problem so that they can give also testimonies and counsel to the person who is actually facing that problem right now. Which, and then, and, and we found that a very um, uh, interesting and very uh, helpful solution because many teens that are facing problems, for example, or somebody, the average person likes to talk to somebody who is facing his pain, for example. So one can familiarize most when you can when you understand my pain. If, for example, somebody is facing the depression and he's talking to somebody else who faced the same problem, they will familiarize more and be able to uh, better um, comprehend and understand each other because they have faced the same issues. Now. Please finish up. The unmet needs, uh, the lack of mental counseling availability as the pandemic is happening right now, students are not able to talk to the counselor more than in person, even as the lack of help needed for teens as teens do not speak to parents. So our app gives them a chance to get the help that they wanted or need through the ways that we offer. And that is it. Thank you very much. All right, thanks team True Help. Way to go, Daryl and Brian. Thank you for that presentation. Judges, five minutes, question and answer. So uh, I'll lead off. Hey guys, Daryl, Brian, thank you for the presentation. Um, you mentioned at some point in your presentation a bit about funding that you'd receive uh, and how you'd invest that back. I, I was hoping you could spend just a minute or so explaining the um, the funding and the business aspect of this. A, is this uh, for profit or not for profit? And where and how would you envision uh, receiving revenues and um, funneling those uh, into the business as you described earlier? Yes. So, okay. So as before, yes, we always stated before that, yes, money is not our intent. Our intent is to provide love and uh, counsel to teens that are facing depression. So typically our business is not a, a business of money, but an idea of love. But at the same time, yes, we will take funding, for example, any form of funding that is uh, to, to further the, the help or to further the, the, the cause of uh, helping teens with mental disorders and such. So, so, so just Daryl, just to elaborate a little further, when you say funding, you would look, be looking for charitable funding from, yep. for, from others to support the, the program and the means. Is that what you're yeah. saying? So it's yes. all, almost a not-for-profit type business model. Is that yes, right? Sir. And yes. then are you, um, are you envisioning that the counselors, how you talked about in-person versus uh, online, the counselors, are they a part of the business or are they uh, a network of other counselors well, that you're just using? Secondly, they will, they're both. We'll provide personal counselors, which will work with the business and also uh, the outer counselors, which also have, and not even just counselors, it's probably any type of um, anybody with the expertise according to the, di to the, to the diagnose and to the issue that the, the, the teen is facing. So, yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, thanks. You mentioned that a lot of the students, they don't know uh, they have these problems like ADHD. And when you have this app and the solution, who is going to identify this people that actually need to take the test? Is it going to be the parents, uh, the teachers, or the uh, person itself? Like, how are you going to get this product out there to the people that actually do need the help? There would be a chance by school. Like, schools can put on, like, uh, events on Schoology and, like, ask them, like, we can take, like, tests if they wanted to or, like, people that so ADHD, like these students that are uh, lacking, like they can't stay focused and all this, they would uh, search online and our thing would pop up and then they could take the quick questionnaire and they could take the, uh, and then at the end, they would uh, see uh, what kind of help they needed or any solutions that can help prove, improve their uh, stuff. 
Okay. Uh, is any medical um, solution part of your program? As the medical, uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I would say like just for we would be helping them with. We just like uh, psychiatrists. We just be talking to them. We won't. If they needed any more help, we would uh, assign them to go to the uh, specific place to get the medical help they needed. So we uh, would see on the scale if they needed a, a more medical help than just a regular psych like talking. Have you researched on what other solutions out there um, besides app or I know you mentioned there's lack of uh, the solution out there, but have you seen any of competition? Yes, yes I have, indeed. Well, yeah, okay. But Brian can go if you want. Uh, we have seen other solutions, but they are more like more not approachable as like these other websites or other sources. They they provide they they do not have a more approachable way for teens. As teens, as myself, we we have seen ways that like on television they ask for all this, and then they don't feel comfortable expressing themselves. As our ways to help them is more comfortable way, more uh, more this day and age to help teens now through the internet. And also to add on to that, Mr. Tanu, um, we also, as soon as the student, for example, or the teen is um, uh, finished his questionnaire, there, what actually separates us from the competition is, we provide, we make sure, and we, we really enforce this to provide the best, and I mean the best of the best professional help and guidance that one of these teens needs. For example, we wouldn't send, uh, um, for example, like, if somebody is facing depression, we wouldn't send a, a, a doctor or somebody that has no that has no cooperation or no um, um, affiliation with that specific field. So that's why we make sure to link them to the best of the best and to make sure that they get the best help they need. Because our goal is really to really lower, help these teens and lower the mental disorders and the total mental disorders that teens are facing in America. Thank you. So judges, I'm going to pause us right here. We're out of our time, Liberty. I know you didn't get a question in there. Okay. You're you're okay waiting to the next team. We'll 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 start off with you on the next one. So go ahead, judges, and deliberate and think through your uh, feedback that you want to write down. While we're doing that, Brian and Daryl, thank you so much for kicking us off today. And a shout out to our VCU students, coaches that helped you too as well. Hopefully that was valuable for you. All right, now we're going to coach Ryan and coach Connor. Thank you very much.